Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tatiana. My sister is coming to visit me in Paris. Uh, she's coming from DC. She used to live here before. She actually came here before me for university and then I followed her. Uh, and then she left in 2019, I think. So it's been a while since she's been in Paris. I'm really excited for her to see my apartment and just to see her in general. It's been almost a year. So I'm really excited. And the reason I'm in the bathroom today is because I'm prepping for her arrival. And one of those things, sorry, I'm like sitting on my tiptoes. And one of the things that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finally cut my bangs. I've been putting this off for months. <laughs> They've grown out. So that's why I'm in the bathroom because I'm going to be addressing this situation because I miss them and I wanna have them back. And I feel like if I don't do it now, it's gonna take me a while, so. Yeah, I also just want her to see me with my bangs. I don't know. Although, it does kind of look nice. It grew out to like a decent length where these chunks aren't as awkward. But we're gonna cut them anyways. So yeah, they've been growing out for a while. Um, I'm also by no means a professional hairdresser. Um, I just have been doing my bangs for years. And honestly, I haven't even mastered the technique over those years. I just kind of do it and they look decent. So <laughs> this is not a tutorial. This is just how I do my bangs. Oh, look at these baby hairs. See, I'm hiding these baby hairs with my bangs. That's why I like them. First, I'm just gonna give them back some shape because they have sat in this bang position in a really long time and I have this kind of like cowlick thing that happens here with this side just goes like flat against my head so I want to kind of put it back into its bang shape just to see how everything would fall and I also am aware that I need to get a new roller this one is currently stuffed with a sock because I lost the foam inside so you know it's a very bougie lifestyle I live it's not going to be perfect, it's not going to be the prettiest, but it's just going to give us a rough kind of bang bounce shape. And then from there I'm going to trim and see how everything's going to fall. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to let this dry. I'm probably going to do some chores, um, wash some dishes, and do some other stuff to prep for her arrival before coming back to cut them when they're dry. I got a bit messed up in the rolling process, that's okay. I'm just gonna take my scissors and start trimming. There's not really, I don't really have a technique for it. Just kind of go. I try to separate the pieces that are gonna be longer on the ends and have this kind of like middle chunk. And I'm just gonna chop it. I go kind of like upwards in this motion, feathering motion, just so that it's not super choppy and straight. And I just keep doing this until I get to kind of the desired length. A few inches later. So then what I do with these pieces is I kind of just grab it like this. And I pull it down and I just do like a fade. Kind of like that. Oh, there we go. I have bangs again. I'm really happy. I might play around with them throughout the week, but I think it's like an initial cut. I'm pretty satisfied with it. Also, it looks tends to look a little bit better uh, after a couple of days after you, you let it grow out. It's like a, I think any haircut, it looks like a little bit choppy in the beginning. Also, I did not do a great job. I a little messed up a little on this side, but it's okay. Nobody's gonna really be paying too close attention, I don't think. Now I gotta clean up the mess that I made in the bathroom. And also I feel like it's gonna look a little bit better after I wash my hair, because my hair's a little bit too greasy as well. So I'm just gonna put this back on, honestly, for now. I'm gonna be doing 
finishing up some other chores. I want to clean my bathroom before she comes, so I'm gonna do that, I think. And then after I shower, I'll show you guys how it looks when my hair's all clean and nicely styled and probably fixed a little bit, so yeah. I've been getting caught unawares by the rain all week. <laughs> it started pouring while I was doing my groceries, so got a little bit wet. I went out and bought a bunch of stuff, a couple of things for the apartment, uh, some food, so that my sister has options. Honestly, I went probably a little bit overboard, but I'm just like super excited and I had so many ideas for like things that we could do. So one of the things that I got is this pillow. Um, and I went to that like arts and crafts store that I freaking I love. I go in there sometimes just to like go in there and look around. They see me all the time, probably think I'm weird, but I actually bought something this time. So I bought this little pillow uh, because I was actually looking for like a normal pillow to replace one of mine because it's just all lumpy and kind of uncomfortable and it's just not that great anymore. So I was looking for a replacement pillow, but they didn't really have any regular pillows. The only one that they had was like one of those massive like square ones. And since I don't have a lot of those kinds of covers. I decided I would just get one of these. It's small, it's a little bit smaller, like a regular pillow would be a little bit longer, but like the width is fine. And it's very soft, it's very squishy, and like honestly, it, it gets the job done. I just need an extra pillow. It's mostly for like other people when they're here. But yeah, so I got this and it was only 13 euros as well, because pillows also, like pillows can get really expensive. So I was like, you know what, might as well just get this decorative one. Uh, when I'm not using it, it can be a nice decoration pillow and it's extra support for my back. So you can never go wrong with a pillow. So yeah, I got this. I also got myself this set. It's like a incense set or what's it called? Essential oils. I don't know what these are called. Diffusers, I guess. And this one I got also at the craft store. I was looking for something like a candle or some sort of like room um, scent thingy. And I saw this, it's Christmas themed, which is perfect because I was also like, oh, maybe I should get a little Christmas decoration. But I was thinking, no, I shouldn't because I, like, I'm trying to clean my apartment and get rid of things. So I don't want to buy like just random little Christmas decorations just to have decorations. And so this one's a little bit decorated. So it kind of works for both. So yeah, nice. And this is called um, Pine Forest, Christmas Tree Forest, Pine Tree Forest. So yeah, it's very wintry themed. Very, it's a very cute bottle, very cute presentation. So uh, I'm just gonna pour this in. It smells quite weak. Well, who knows? Maybe it just needs like to go through the diffusion process. I don't know. Okay. I also don't want to fill it up all the way just in case I knock it over. So I think that's halfway full. So I think I'm just gonna leave that like this and put this away. So I can refill it if I need to because I've had a diffuser before and I knocked it over like literally the third day that I had it and it just got oil everywhere and that oil is really hard to clean up. So we're going to air on the safe side. But yeah. Oh, it's so cute. Okay. Starting to diffuse a little bit. I'm just going to let it sit and uh, make my apartment smell nice and Christmassy and wintry. So ah i finally cleaned my entire apartment i'm not going to show you in this video because i have a whole series coming out of deep cleaning my apartment so stay tuned for that it was a lot of work oh my gosh i like deep cleaned my apartment like i scrubbed my floors my walls i washed everything i organized everything so yeah it looks really great i'm really happy uh my hair is currently drying right now because i'm about to go out to my friend's going away party. I have another friend who's leaving Paris and it's really sad because I also see her, like I see her quite often at my local Irish bar. Uh, we met there and became really good friends and we go there very often. And she's moving back to the States. So today is her like last night at the bar. Um, so yeah, <laughs> it's very sad. I have a lot of people leaving. I don't know why they're all leaving this time of year. But yeah, so I'm gonna get ready for that and enjoy the night out. And then tomorrow morning, I have to wake up early and I'm gonna go and pick up my sister. Ah, I'm so 
so excited. Oh my God, I can't wait for her to be here and for us to just like do things and like talk. I don't know, it's been, it's been such a long time. So I'm really excited. So yeah, I'm gonna just pour myself a little glass of wine to celebrate the end of the cleaning. So I'm gonna finish this wine while I'm getting ready and then I'll head out. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh,